Today we are going to be ranking UFC 300 fights based on how excited I am for this. And this is honestly, guys, I've been thinking about it a lot. This is the greatest card of all time. I really do believe that. We're going to get into the rankings. I'd love to know what you guys think down below afterwards. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Kyle. I am your guy with too many YouTube channels. Let's get into it. Now, it is important to note, I would put all of these fights into the S tier if you were talking about fights. Well, not all of them, of course, because you have, like, you know, this little one that nobody's excited for over here. But I'm thinking about this as UFC 300, and I'm comparing all of these fights to each other. So, nothing's probably going to go in the F tier. So, just so you know, like, the C tier is not a C tier level fight, and I'm not going to put everything in S tier, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. I'm going to be ranking these, comparing them to each other. So, the best is going to stand out in S, and then... Another fantastic fight could end up in the C tier. I hope that made sense, guys. But let's get started with Wei Li Zhang versus Yan Zhao Na. Now, I'm a big fan of Wei Li. I like watching Wei Li a lot. She is, in my opinion, the greatest female MMA fighter of all time. But comparing it to the rest of the fights on this card, I am just not feeling it because I do believe with Yan Zhao Nan only has a puncher's chance and Wei Li is going to steamroll her. Other than that, so I am going to throw this fight into the C tier. Not really looking forward to it now. Out of all the fights on the card, guys, I'm actually not looking forward to Holly Holm versus Kayla Harrison. I'm not interested in Holly Holm. She's boring. And I'm not interested in Kayla Harrison, who just wants to come in and grab you and use her roid wage to win. Did I say roid wage? <laughs> roid wage. <laughs> so this one, I'm actually going to put in the D tier. Don't want to see it. I almost want to put it in the F tier. We'll see. We'll see. Now, Davison Figueredo versus Cody Garbrandt. Figueredo is one of my favorite fighters of all time. I love watching Davison Figueredo. I love and get excited every single time that he's here. But when you're looking at a fight, you got to kind of think about what's going to happen. With this fight, we kind of know what's going to happen. And that takes away just a little bit from me. I'm just kind of trying to come up with a reason, guys. Like, for example, what I'm going to talk about. Oliveira versus Sarukian. This is a prime example of, like, the intrigue for this fight is there because you don't know what's going to happen. And it's not just solely off of... You know, like, just seeing somebody win, you know? But then again, I'll be talking about another fighter that I want to win. I hope you guys get what I'm saying, man. I hope you guys understand. So, I'm very excited for this fight, but I kind of almost know what it's going to end up being. So, for this fight, I'm going to throw it into the B tier. And again, B tier because we're comparing it to every single fight. I can't put everything in the S and the A tier, okay? Jim Miller, Bobby Green. Guys, this is an A tier. This is an A tier for me because... I am so invested in Jim Miller's career. He's one of my favorite fighters of all time. And I would love to see him get a win on UFC 300. He's fought on UFC 100, UFC 200. I would love for him to fight at UFC 300. I know he says that he's not retiring, but I would love it if he could just get a win here and ride that fairy tale ending all the way home, man. I love Jim Miller. love watching him perform. I love seeing him defy the odds of age at 40 now, just like Glover Teixeira has been doing and a few other fighters. I love it, man. I love it. So I can't wait for this fight. Plus, it's a very, very interesting matchup in itself. Let's continue on with Alex Pereira versus Jamal Hill. This is a toughie, okay? Because we don't know how Jamal Hill... I just start breaking down this fight. We don't know how Jamal Hill's going to come back with his injury. But it is a very interesting matchup. Alex Pereira is always fun. Jamal Hill is always fun. Either fighter can win. I'm going to throw this into the A tier in front of Bobby Green versus Jim Miller. Now... Oh boy, guys, I'm ready for you guys to disagree with me here. Sadiq Youssef, Diego Lopez, S tier. I can't wait to watch this fight, mainly because I'm unsure about who's going to win, and both fighters are incredibly exciting. There is no way this fight sucks. There's absolutely no way that this fight is boring. Sadiq Youssef is amazing at what he is. Diego Lopez has been really convincing the fans of who he is at this point in his career. I can't wait to watch these two clash. At, at, on the stage of UFC 300, I can't wait for it. This is one of the greatest fights on the card, honestly. Let's continue on to Jalen Turner versus Hanato Moicano. Now, for this fight specifically, actually, it's a little bit... I shouldn't say it's on the weaker side because, I, again, guys, I have such trouble saying, like, hey, this is a win on the weaker side of UFC 300 because this is a banger. Every one of these can be a fight night main event except maybe the two girl fights on the card because, and maybe Bo Nickel. Maybe. Maybe. Even then, I don't know. Regardless. I don't, I need you guys to understand that's the last time I'm going to say it. If I put something in a low tier, doesn't mean it's a low tier fight. I'm comparing all of these to each fight on the card. So, I'm, when it comes to this fight, I'm more interested in the idea of Moicano winning and getting on the mic because every single time we see Moicano on the mic, it's hilarious, <laughs> okay? So, 
<sighs> but the fight itself should be good. It's a striker versus grappler matchup. I just don't see one of those crazy wars coming from this, to be honest with you. So I'm actually going to throw this into the C tier right behind Wei Li versus Yan Zhao Nan. Now, Bo Nickel, Cody Brundage. I like Bo Nickel. <laughs> Contrary to popular opinion, I'm a fan of Bo Nickel. I understand the hate that they're getting because they are on the main card now, but I don't know if this is going to be a good fight because Cody Brundage kind of doesn't really, should I say, bring it. This fight could end in controversy. Cody Brundage could just not show up. Bo Nickel could just completely outwork him. So, guys, I'm actually going to throw this fight to the D tier because I can see this being really, really one-sided. And I can see Cody Brundage just doing what he does and somehow ruin the fight. I kind of can see that, to be honest with you. Now, Charles Oliveira, Armin Sarukian. I don't know. <sighs> this is an S tier, for sure. I was just thinking about the rest of the fights. What am I most excited for? This may be the fight on the card that I'm most excited for. Just like Sadiq Youssef with Diego Lopez, I don't know what's going to happen in this fight. It's such an even matchup. It has such high stakes for the division. You have fan favorite in Charles Oliveira versus one of the most, the greatest lightweight prospects ever in Armin Saruki. I don't even know if you can call him a prospect at this point because he's been steamrolling people. I can't wait to see what happens in this fight. I have no idea what's going to happen in this fight. I'm a big fan of both Charles Oliveira and Armin Sarukian. So watching this fight is going to be an absolute pleasure. Two of the best to ever do it. I'm very excited for this fight. I think that just might be the fight that I'm most excited for. Now, let's move on. Jessica Andrade versus Marina Rodriguez, D tier. Right in front of Holly Holm. You know what? I'm going to move Holly Holm to the F tier because that's just a new category. I just, I, this is the only fight on the card that I just hate. I just hate it. Now, this fight has the potential to be exciting. Jessica Andrade could come in and get a knockout. Marina Rodriguez does have good striking, but at the end of the day, Jessica Andrade just hasn't been showing up. Marina Rodriguez isn't all that exciting. She has good striking, but I never go, oh, you know, I was just happy to see my money make me wins when she was beating up Michelle Rodderson. That's probably the only time that I was excited for Marina Rodriguez. No hate. I just don't get excited. Now, Calvin Cater versus Aljamain Sterling. Hmm. I'm actually stuck between S and A tier for this one. The fact that I'm thinking about it means that I have to throw it in S tier because these two were kind of no question, no brainers if I want to throw them in the S tier. So I'm going to throw this one to the A tier, actually at the top of A tier. I like watching Calvin Cater a lot. When is this guy in a boring fight? He's not. And I'm very intrigued on how Aljamain Sterling is going to do at 145 pounds, whether or not he's going to get Calvin Cater down, if Calvin he's going to be able to strike with Calvin Cater. We don't know. It's very interesting. I'm very excited for it. And I could very well see this being quite the exciting matchup, to be honest with you. I, I, I'm really looking forward to that Calvin Cater versus Aljamain Sterling. Now, Let's move on. Yuri Prohoshka versus Alexander Rakic. S tier. I can't wait for this fight. But at the bottom of S tier. When has Yuri Prohoshka been in a boring fight? The answer is he hasn't and he will not. I know a lot of people are really worried about Alexander Rakic making this fight boring. I don't think it's possible with Yuri. He sells it. <laughs> he sells it. This also means a lot in the division. I love watching Rakic fight. He's a great technician. A huge guy in the cage. Can't wait to see how these guys match up. Shockingly... They are in similar size. I thought Rakic would kind of tower over Yuri, but I kind of forget that Yuri is kind of a big guy. I don't know, man. I just can't wait to see him scrap. It's going to be a great fight. Now, for the fight that I would imagine most people are putting into the S tier, Max Holloway versus Justin Gaethje, or should I say you must, Justin Gaethje versus Max Holloway. This is definitely an S tier, but the problem is, where am I going to throw it in S tier? Hmm. I'm going to put it right behind Oliveira versus Sarukian. I, I don't think you can get a fight on this card. No, definitely not. <laughs> That's more exciting and more intriguing than that. But all of the same reasons for Justin Holloway, Justin Holloway, Justin Gaethje and Max Holloway, it's it sells itself. Two of the most exciting guys ever coming into it. And the same reason for Justin Gaethje, like I said, with Yuri Prashka. Tell me when Justin Gaethje has been in a boring fight. He hasn't. You can say the same thing about Max Holloway. I know some people think the Volkanovski fights or a couple of them were a little bit boring. I don't. Max Holloway is always a pleasure to watch. Plus, for the same reason that I'm excited for Aljamain Sterling, how's Max Holloway going to look at the new weight division? I can't wait for this fight. It's going to be exciting. There is no way that fight sucks. There is no way any of these fights in the S tier suck. Honestly, I cannot wait to watch this. So guys, that is my rankings for the UFC 300 fights. Again, it's important to note that just because something is in the C tier doesn't mean I'm not excited for it. Let me know what you think down below. Thank you so much for watching the video. Check out this video on screen right now if you'd like to see another tier list. It's fantastic. We have lots of tier list content. Take care, everybody.